water balloon, you might as well just go away. Leonard, it's Coach Fox. It is you. Yeah, can I come in? Sure. Kids kind of pick on you, huh? That's one of the things I won't miss about college life. No, that's kind of why I'm here, Leonard. I got this notice that you were dropping out of school. Is, it... Is all that true? Yes. Is this, is this because you didn't make the football team? No, it's because I don't fit in here. I don't fit in anywhere. Oh, Leonard. Come on, there comes a time in everybody's life when they don't fit in. I mean, there are times in my life when I feel like I don't fit in. You? Sure, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I know everybody says, hey, Coach Fox, you, know, you got a big job, you got a pretty girlfriend, you make lots of money, uh, you wear great clothes. <laughs> You're handsome. Where was I? You're telling me how sometimes you don't fit in. Yeah, because all that stuff you see is just surface stuff but but deep inside i you know i think we're an awful lot alike you're a nerd too no no, no and neither are you leonard just because you're different doesn't make you a nerd it, it it means that you're unique and all you got to do is just find your niche son i already have sir that's why i'm leaving school to become a computer programmer it's a niche for one i figure i might as well start leading a solitary life i was destined for You don't have to feel bad. It's not your fault I don't have any friends. Leonard, you got friends. I'm your friend. Really? You want to get a soda? <laughs> Someday. You know, you're one of the few people who's ever been nice to me. I have nothing but respect for you, Coach Fox. And even though I'm going to be spending the rest of my life alone in a windowless room, I'll always be your biggest fan. And next year, when you go to the Pineapple Bowl, nobody will be cheering louder than Leonard Pierre Kralman. The Pineapple Bowl? Barring unforeseen circumstances, you'll be 10 and 1 next year. Where the hell did you come up with that? On my computer, sir. You can't predict a football season on a computer. I can. <laughs> you can? It's just one of the dumb things I do in my spare time. And the, and the computer told you we're going to a bowl game this year? It appears to be statistically inevitable. What else did the computer tell you? I don't know. What do you want to know? I don't know. Punch something up. We'll see what you got. Hello, Leonard. What can I do for you? I added a voice synthesizer to give me the illusion of human contact. <laughs> what is all this stuff? Scouting reports, player performance probability charts, theoretical play analysis. You know more about my team than I do. Well, I don't have your coaching instinct or your motivational skills, but I've got technical mumbo-jumbo up the wazoo. Hey, I just had a crazy idea, Leonard. What if you stayed in school another year and he came work for me? Doing what? Doing his stuff. You know, he'd be like my tactical consultant. Me? Yeah, yeah. We'd go over the game plans each week. You could tell me the probability of whether or not it would work, and then you sit up in the press box with Dauber, and you could feed information down to me on the field. I could sit in the press box? Yeah, yeah, you'd be like our secret weapon. Wow. Could I have a shirt with an M on it? <laughs> you got it, son. You got a deal? Give me that withdrawal slip. You've made me the happiest person in the world. Hmm. 
coaching staff's not really into hugging, Lenny. I'm sorry, sir. Could I at least slap you on the butt? How about just a handshake and we'll work our way down, huh? 